Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is Greg with the Dapper Man. I'm going to do another uh, mail call with you. Uh, I've ordered a bunch of stuff, and it's finally come in, so I wanted to kind of show you what I've got and kind of explain why I've uh, decided to go ahead and purchase these items. We'll start with uh, a couple pens that I've bought. Uh, this isn't going to be like a typical box opening, but I'll kind of show you what I have and why I went with them. So, we'll start off with a Pilot uh, fountain pen. This is the MR. It is, I think it's, MR is short for uh, Metropolitan Retro. Uh, it's a fantastic little box, gray, as you can see. In it, you kind of get a little pamphlet talking about the Pilot pens. Uh, they have the various colors and styles that you can get. This is a Pilot MR in blue, kind of an aqua blue, and it's a medium nib. Hopefully you can see that. It's a nice little case. Uh, pops open, as you can see. Oop, pin just fell out. And uh, so a really good little case. It comes with a single Pilot uh, ink cartridge. And let me just pop it open. This is a medium nib. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see if we can get a better... There you go. Kind of a medium nib for you. Uh, it's really nice if you unscrew it. You can see that it comes with a little plastic uh, bladder. I mean, hopefully you can see that as well. I like these. They're easy to fill. Uh, you can just kind of squeeze it uh, to fill it up with your whatever ink you want. This is, like I said, this is a medium nib. The reason I went with a medium nib is because I have a I have one of these in black with a fine nib. I really like it, but I wanted to try the medium nib. Uh, apparently these are Japanese nibs, and they're a little bit finer than what you would normally get, uh, let's say, with like a, a German nib or... Um, with like a Lamy here. Let me see if I can grab this real quick. This is my Lamy. It has a uh, medium nib and it's just a little uh, little wide so I thought I'd try the Pilot Metropolitan in a medium nib. Like I said I have a fine nib. Let me see if I can find that here real quick. All right here's my Pilot Metropolitan in the uh, fine nib. Like I said it's just a simple black one. Uh, I thought I'd, I like this. I like the uh, Pilot Metropolitan, so I figured I'd give the uh, Medium Nib a try. What else did I get? Uh, because I travel for work, I still don't travel with a fountain pen, um, mainly because I don't want to risk getting the ink everywhere when I do travel. You know, I check my uh, suitcase, so it'd have to go in in a little container in a plastic baggie and I don't want I just again just don't want to risk the uh, ink getting everywhere. Uh, the other pens that I bought so I can travel are some Parker pens. They have three colors hopefully you can see that. Uh, a silver, a red, and a, um, a blue. Let's go ahead and open these. These are oh let's see they're Parker pens. I'll have to get the official title for you. Uh, let me grab the blue one. There you go. It's your typical pocket ballpoint pen. As you can see, it has the uh, really nice tip. These are fantastic pens. Everybody I talk to that has one uh, just absolutely love it. Uh, the, these do actually have ink cartridges as well. This one has a blue ink cartridge. Uh, this is your typical ballpoint ink cartridge. Again, let's see if I can get a better picture for you. Kind of, maybe. But that's what they look like. Uh, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. I wanted a little bit of a feel of a fountain pen, even though it isn't a fountain pen. So I got the Parker Gel Ink uh cartridge for it as well. That way I can have the feel of a fountain pen but the safety of a ballpoint pen. And again it has three colors that way I can choose whichever color I want. I'll probably stick with either the blue or the red uh, when I travel. I haven't decided yet. 
I'll go ahead and do a more in-depth review on the on my various pens here a little bit later. Uh, well, a couple of the things that I bought. These are not pen related. I have bought some cigars. Um, normally I buy from uh, my local uh, tobacconist Luke, uh, but he did not have uh, these in stock and they were on sale. So these are your nubs by, or the company is called Nub, as you can see. Um, they're made by Olivia. These are fantastic cigars. These are smaller cigars, a smaller, you know, length, but a really good 60 ring gauge. So they're really good smoke. And I went ahead and got uh, a few more uh, five packs. These are the Ava Maria Salvation Cigars. Again, I haven't had these specifically, but I have, have had several of the other Ava Marias. These are very, very good. Uh, at least the brand is usually very, very good. And then, of course, some of my favorite cigars are the CAO Flatheads. These are kind of uh, my go-to smoke. Uh, again, when Luke can get them in, these are the 6x60s. Um, these taste really, really good. Kind of like a coffee, a little bit of cocoa. Uh, so it's really a, a, another really good smoke. And last, I got the CAO Italias. Again, another very, very good smoke. Uh, CAO is my go-to brand for cigars. I love them, absolutely. Uh, Luke, my local tobacconist, just couldn't. Uh, he's having a hard time getting these in. I guess they're backordered or something. So... I highly recommend you always buy from your local tobacconist if you can. Help support local brick and mortar stores. Uh, but I was running low on cigars. I needed some more and he wasn't able to get these. Well, that's it for now. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you do, please give us a thumbs up. You can find us on Facebook, Pinterest, uh, Twitter, all at the Dapper Man US. I hope you have a fantastic day, whatever's left of it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.